How long have you been friends for? We've been friends for about like two years. Two years. All right. And you don't think that he would hit? No. Got you. It's only friends. Yo. Yo. What's good? How are you? I'm good. I'm calling because I'm a little lit right now, but I got a question for you. What? Like, why was you and me never a thing? You playing on my phone right now, yo. <laughs> Yo, let's keep that reacts right back where you at, man. It's Happy Millie coming to you live and direct. You know, I got my brothers with me, man. Rome and Q in the studio with me today. Yo, we got a situation that every man probably wishes he never has to be in, man. And that's that friend zone. The deep, dark depths of the friend zone, man. Ooh. Recently on the podcast, No Fugazi. Looks like a shorty was, uh, she was asked if she thought any of her platonic friends would, would ever try to be in a situation where they want to hit. And she quickly put him in that friend zone, man. So we're going to see what the reaction is like. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the content. It's going to get popping, man. I do have guy friends that is strictly, like, platonic. It's just Yeah, like, because they don't have the balls to be like, yo, Sierra, I'm feeling you. I'm trying to smash. No, that's... Y'all making me want to ask my friend now. <laughs> you should say you want to How long have y'all been friends for? We've been friends for about, like, two years. Two years. All right. And you don't think that he would hit? No. Got you. It's only friends. Yo, what's good? How are you? I'm good. I'm calling because I'm a little lit right now, but I got a question for you. What? Like, why was you and me never a thing? You playing on my phone right now, yo. No, nah, I'm dead ass. <laughs> I'm what just lit. Mean? You know what I mean, bro. I think, like, what? Like, how? Why we ain't never, like, chill and just link up? Mm, that's for you. <laughs> <laughs> So you can come over? <laughs> That's it, man. Why? <laughs> hey, chat. What we just no. witnessed here is he want to smet at Ash. So <laughs> I've been with his best friend. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's be Oof. all men that's in a friend zone that have ulterior motives like him because he said that, oh, it's on you. He's a coward because he doesn't have enough courage to tell you his true intentions. God. And the reason why he doesn't have enough courage is because he's scared of rejection. To imagine your lady friend call you on the phone and she's in a room with two uh two of niggas like these ice on ice chains wrist and they see you in the podcast on oh, the podcast two lit niggas and ask you some shit like that set you up like that threw up that oop to these niggas to call you a coward on live <laughs> on live podcast <laughs> television bro that is crazy oh this is God. this is rough man this is rough and when you said it earlier heaven you was like man every area that a man would hate to find himself in which is the friend zone uh, you know what I'm saying? As I've matured, I think you niggas got to start taking some accountability and realize you do that shit to yourselves, my boy, because that is that's rough to be in a situation like that. Also, side note, biting pressure fits whole flow I'm seeing right here. That's kind of crazy, but I respect it. I've been hey, seeing a lot of this guy recently yeah. on TikTok and stuff. I, I, oh, yeah? He's popping. Yeah. I've been seeing a good amount of him on TikTok. Oh, the brother hey, with man. the beard or the nigga with the, the dude? The guy right? with the beard, the, the, yeah, okay. the see-through beard. Yeah, that ain't gonna lie to you. That is really crazy. Um, cause that, cause that nigga is definitely like that. That was definitely just a a fuck you to that nigga. Like to that, violate he, like, him, violated. He say he a coward. He broke his shit. He ugly. He got no. He got low self esteem. Like everything that you. <laughs> nah. That and the nigga was so giddy. I don't know. That's on you. Like that nigga, you can <laughs> yeah, hear him yeah, smiling yeah, through the phone. Like, God. Uh, Bro, the yo, moment he said, "What you mean?" He was what smiling. You mean? Yeah, like, you're right. <laughs> how you come back from that, yo? Like how you come back? Oh, from you that? don't you, like. You yo, know. Lee, you just seen this. You just seen this on Instagram, like for the first time now. Like, you, what, what you say to your friend after that? Uh, lock in. Uh, it, it, six to nine months can change your life. Um, this is bad, but we all reach low point as men. Um, you know, she giggling. You lost her. It's over. You got to just move past it at this point. That's life. Yeah. You just got to lock in, get you a you, gym you membership, you get you a nice little, little, you know, passion. Move on. You speaking? You speaking as the friend that uh, that she was with? Cause she said she was with the best friend. Yeah, Yo, you speaking as the friend she was just with? Oh yeah. That, that's that's what you. Cause I already know she about. 
I'm gonna already know she a dutta, a dutta butt. That's oh, what yeah. you're talking about. I already that, know. I want to add that that part right there. That should have gave you all you needed to know. The fact she got with your best friend. That right there, you should have just you you should have just went ahead and shot your shot at that point because there's no way that you're gonna do that and stick around and get something on the back end. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. And when you say come back, you mean like from this video or do you just mean like in, be- in like life. between y'all oh, okay like this, yeah in life yeah i would agree with, i would agree with rome on that yeah you can come back from that but like yeah like yeah, this I nobody understand. even seen your face or nothing like that but as far as those two oh yeah it's yeah. a dub oh, oh yeah, no he can't ever back her yeah he can't ever back her in life block her number you gotta block her number bro right now you gotta block this shit i'm not even one of these niggas that like i don't like i believe men and women can be friends but you gotta be the type of nigga that can be friends with. Like, like you can't. Like, if you gonna be friends with a woman, yeah. that like, woman can't call friends. you on some shit like this and you fold. Like, that gotta be someone you wouldn't touch. Like, no sucker yeah. friends. Like, yeah. Cause you do not. Like, you literally just lost all that. Cause she, she definitely thought of you as just platonic. Like, now, it, like, even if you wanted to still be friends, yo, she, she not about to be nigga on that, bro. Like, that's, bro. it's it. It's over. I'm, I'm even contemplating if y'all were like as close as you may have thought for her to even play with you like this, for her to even try you on some shit like this. I don't even know if y'all, y'all really yeah, as close as you may think, because like that's kind of no, crazy to even try you like this. I'd have been mad as shit, because why? Why out of all the friends? You say you got many platonic boyfriends. Why out of all the friends? Why was I the one that she got? Because yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh no, what? You tried to call me on this? Shit? Oh no, we're I'm good. I'm, I'm <laughs> as future would say, I'm good. Love and joy. Like, oh no. Hey man, I, I hope I hope none of my brethren out there, man, ever fold like this, man. Like this was crazy. Honestly, learn from this. Take something away from it, man. Don't be that guy, man. Do not be that guy. Drop a like on the video, man. Subscribe to the content. Comment as well, too, how you feel about the situation, what you would do in that situation yourself. We're going to catch you on the next one, man. Appreciate y'all coming through. Our love and support. We out.